Hello, uh, this is Ian Kamau. Um, I just wanted to come on here and say thank you to everybody that has supported the Kickstarter campaign thus far. Um, as of yesterday, February uh, 21st, uh, I reached the $10,000 goal. Uh, that's the base goal. Uh, I'm still going to be pushing for the next 20 something days to get to the $20,000 goal, which is um, the stretch goal that hopefully we'll be able to make the 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 special edition or the single edition magazine happen um, but I thought I'd come on here and um, take maybe take a step back for people that are on YouTube or maybe some people that are on Facebook that aren't necessarily looking at the video that I made for the Kickstarter and um, you know just talk about uh, what the what these projects are and maybe give a little bit more context so uh, my name is Ian Kamau I'm a, I'm an artist writer designer and a music maker from Toronto I put out a couple projects in the early 2010s, uh, one called Love and Other Struggles and another called One Day Soon. One Day Soon I raised about $40,000 for from the granting system. Uh, I was able to travel quite a lot off of that project, so I, um, I ended up being in South Africa, uh, based really in South Africa and a bunch of other countries on the uh, African continent, did about 50 shows over the next two years and essentially just burned out. Um, I tried to do a couple of, uh, of other collaborative projects um, with different artists and producers over that period of time and none of them really worked out. And so uh, I was kind of drifting for a while and I decided that I wanted to go back to school. So I, I went to school, I got two master's degrees and I finished in September and, and about a year before that I decided that I wanted to make music again. Um, I used to make music all the time just because I, I wanted to, you know, because I felt like it, because I enjoyed it. and. Um, I had stopped. And so I applied for a bunch of grants um, from all the various arts councils here in Canada and I wasn't successful in getting any of that. Um, but as of yesterday, um, I've raised uh, $10,000 um, with the support of about 117 backers. Um, and this video is for them primarily, but I thought I'd also put it on YouTube. Um, you know, just for anybody that's still following me on YouTube or that I could post it on my social media so people have more context as to what it was or what it is that I'm trying to do. And so the first major thing is just to be able to do another album project of about 10 to 12 songs. And the second thing is to do um, a single edition magazine. So I've been calling it a magazine. I mean, a lot of people have asked me for a long time why I haven't written a book. And... You know, my, my undergrad and now my master's is in design. My undergrad is in, in graphic design. Um, I used to paint more often. I've always been interested in photography and film. My parents are filmmakers, the first two black filmmakers in the country, or first two of three, I should say. There was also Phil Frazier in Vancouver, but that's a whole other history. And so I've always been interested in like in the visual form uh, in addition to the writing part of it. Like I've always been interested in the writing part of music, but also, you know, the expressive part of music. And I just want to experiment with that again. My, my, um, my master's thesis for uh, my master's in design, supervised by uh, Dory Tunstall uh, at OCAD U, was about... Uh, depression and storytelling so it, it follows a narrative of the time after my album one day soon in 2011 and a bunch of other stuff that happened in 2010 I'm sure some people know about that stuff and I'm looking forward to speaking more directly about that stuff this year um, so it follows that narrative of kind of of managing a, a pretty severe winter of depression which I was pulled out of by going to South Africa and, and being able to be a practicing artist in South Africa and I came back and I kind of avoided being involved in community. I was very involved in community work and, um, and just generally in the black arts community in Toronto uh, in that time and almost since I was a baby because my parents are filmmakers and so they were in that community from really before, that I, before I was born. And um, yeah, so the, the, the project, the publishing project, the, the, the single edition magazine project, that project is partially a narrative of me of the last how many years kind of coming out of that depression and figuring out what depression was how prevalent it is in the black community why people in the black community don't necessarily get help but i use my own story as the 
as the basis for the research that I did in the Strategic Foresight and Innovation Program at OCAD to be able to tell the story, but also to be able to um, do some research around uh, how something like storytelling could potentially help individuals, families, community members manage uh, mental health issues such as depression, specifically with the example of depression with me. So yeah, that's basically what the what that magazine magazine project is. I call it a magazine project because of of the reality of me being interested in visuals and being interested in publishing. So I published a book for my father called My Trouble With Books that you can get on Amazon, um, as well as order from us or get from a different book list here in Toronto. Um, and so I, de I designed that book and that was kind of an experiment to a larger idea that I have about uh, publishing works in a time where there are really there are no liner notes for music and um, you know it's a visual age so I, I didn't want to make a project that was just um, like my master's thesis um, put into a book and then released as a book I wanted to do something that was more dynamic than that that was visual that was inspired by some of the stuff that I have laying around me like this thing which I've mentioned a couple times this is Frank Ocean's Boys Don't Cry. Sorry, I'm covering my mouth. This is Frank Ocean's Boys Don't Cry uh, special edition magazine. Um, you know, so this came with the Blonde album and it's, it's, you know, it's full of images and there's actually a CD in there. I don't know why you would do a CD, but there's actually a CD in there. Um, but it's full of images, it's full of writing, but it's, you know, it's very, um, it's very visual based. It's like it's like a magazine as opposed to just being like a book. I was also inspired oh, by Pharrell's Places and Spaces magazine. Obviously, I have all these things. I have the same issue with books that my father has. Um, you know, so it's a, a lot of this is just about like his inspirations, his design inspirations, his his music inspirations. There are other people that write with him. So like Pharrell in conversation with Buzz Aldrin, the astronaut, or, you know, Pharrell in conversation with this person or that person. I should say, um, uh, I think Kanye is one of the people in the Boys Don't Cry magazine. I picked this up the last time I was in the UK. This is Postscript. My friend uh, Victoria Falana, where is she? My friend Victoria Falana is on the cover of this. I just like the simplicity of it, how it was designed that sort of thing. This, this magazine is, is all about women, women doing various wonderful things in the world, you know? You know, so big, bright images, um, simplistic in its design. Um, there's Victoria smiling. What's up, Victoria? Victoria's in Nigeria right now. You know? So just big and beautiful, obviously employs graphic design and that sort of thing. Lots of image making, you know, so some a project that I could do with uh, photographer friends of mine in, in Toronto, like Nabil Shash or Jillian Mapp or whoever. Um, I bought this a long time ago. I can't remember where. I can't remember where. Um, but it's a magazine that is just about, same thing, special edition magazine that is all about Haiti. You know, so same thing, writing images, etc. This is part of the reason why I haven't been calling it a book. And uh, the Egypt issue of Holiday with my wife on the cover. Um, <laughs> she, uh, but the same basic, the same, the same kind of deal. This is more, a little bit more fashion oriented than the other ones. But lots of images, um, writing short stories inside of the the special edition magazine that I'd like to do. I'd like to have the lyrics to the album, uh, maybe some poetry. I've been working on this project with the Theater Center, so maybe some of the writing from that. Definitely the writing from my, um, from my master's thesis, as many images or uh, graphic images or photographic images, even illustrative images, such as the images on the cover of One Day Soon. Um, so that's basically the idea. 
So, I mean, if you've got to this now uh, 10 minutes or whatever it's been or watching this video, hopefully that means that you're interested. I want to thank everybody that helped to raise that $10,000 that, you know, um, I wasn't necessarily sure that it was going to be possible to even do that or people cared enough to to in, to to back um, that project. I I am pushing to try to make sure that I can make this single edition magazine idea happen, and so that's why I set the base goal of ten thousand dollars and the stretch goal of twenty thousand dollars. The stretch goal will in will enable that um, single edition magazine project to happen. Um, yeah, so I'm so there is another 22 days in the campaign. It took only six days to get to $10,000. It slowed down significantly. Um, but I'm going to keep pushing towards the $20,000 goal by telling stories on my Instagram by sending personal messages messages to people. It would be it would be very helpful for people to be able to send personal messages to people that they think may be interested in backing the project as well. Um, yeah. That, I mean, but that's that's pretty much it. I'm kind of rambling at this stage in the game. Uh, so I don't want to make like a crazy long video, but that's essentially the deal. Um, you can go see the Kickstarter if you just search Ian Kamau Kickstarter and follow me on Instagram. And thanks very much to all the backers who have invested both time in terms of sharing or listening to the, watching the stories or watching the videos and also funds. Um, those 100 now about 117 118 backers that are on the that are on the Kickstarter that have invested their money in a project that will give me the time uh, to be able to do uh, these projects the time and the resources I should say to be able to do these projects thank you again my name is Ian Kamal peace